On today's card, Alexa Bliss attacked by so-called fans over her new boyfriend. Rusev finally opens up about appearing at Slammiversary. And was Drake Maverick's release just a storyline? Hey guys, welcome to the very first ever Ring Breaking News. I'm Christy, about to hit you up with some pro wrestling headlines, and we're kicking things off today with Little Miss Bliss. WWE superstar Alexa Bliss says she's been forced to take a break from social media to focus on her mental health. The former champ even made her verified Twitter account private after suffering what she calls stalking and harassment. So here's the story. Alexa directly addressed one fan account who cops to posting her personal pics with rumored boyfriend Ryan Cabrera. She also recently hit back at a ridiculous accusation that not liking a fan's comment was damaging to that person. Alexa's Instagram account does remain public for all of you silent, non-harassing creepers out there. And legit caring fans need not worry either. The SmackDown superstar wants everyone to know she's fine and encourages us to be kind. Exo Lexi, peace out. That's how it would have sounded if she would say it instead of writing it on Twitter, but anyway. Three-time WWE US Champion Rusev is still waiting out his 90-day non-compete, gaming, and keeping quiet about his next move until now. TNA Mark from India nabbed this clip of the former Bulgarian brute chatting live with fans on Twitch. When asked about Impact teasing a recently released WWE star for their upcoming Slammiversary event, Rusev refused to confirm or deny whether he'll pop up on Slammiversary. Mr. Lana said that Impact using the Bulgarian flag and promos for the event could mean it's any Bulgarian. The problem with that, Rusev, is you're ignoring that the company specified it would be a wrestler recently released by Vince McMahon. So you can keep teasing us, Miro, but it's obvious you're not paying a lot of attention because it's probably not going to be you and you're sick of everyone asking you about it. Instead of admitting that, though, he pointed out that Impact might be willing to pay him a million dollars for a match. We'll find out when Slammiversary goes down on Saturday, July 18th, live on pay-per-view. Where else? Another talent axed during WWE's April budget cuts has re-signed and now everyone is dying to know, was Drake Maverick's release a work the whole time? Fans, and me a lot since the beginning of all of this, have wondered whether WWE officials planned Drake's firing and orchestrated this public campaign resulting in a fat new contract. I'm convinced they knew the former GM of 205 Live would geniusly go into business for himself and essentially save his own job. You guys have got to weigh in on this. Do you think Drake Maverick's release was just a storyline? PW Insider reminds us that Drake filed trademarks for his old ring name after being fired, so it looks like he was planning for post-WWE life. Either way, he's earned tons of respect in the biz for pulling this off, which is saying a lot for a guy who used to be known as Rockstar Spud. Now a few more quick hits for ya. WWE announced their next pay-per-view, Extreme Rules, is going down Sunday, July 19th on the WWE Network. You can check out New Japan's first event in over 100 days at njpwworld.com. Look for the Together Project special featuring a lineup of tag team matches meant to tease us for the upcoming New Japan Cup. And Impact has renewed their deal to stay on the small screen in Mexico, with their partners MVS TV calling the show a tremendous hit with their viewers. I hope Ring Breaking News is a big hit with all of you. Please subscribe if you like it, and hit me up anytime at Christy Reports if there is a specific story that you just have to get the details on. See you soon!